the 2018 Enough was the debut album, but could you tell me a bit about how and when the band got started? Um, I believe it was by the end of 2017 or something like that. Um, and then we started actually making music by the start of 2018. And then we uh, pretty much started um, songwriting very fast. Um, and that's how we came up with, with Enough. But um, Enough isn't really something that we're really happy about or we're very proud of because um you know we only knew each other for like half a year or something like that when when we wrote it and we uh released it ourselves and we were like we need to get songs out there so we can play live um and that's pretty much <laughs> what it is it's pretty much like demos but um yeah i always say it, it brought us to the point where we are today and so it was a good decision to just uh, release something ourselves and uh yeah it's out there Going to the new album Nightfall then, uh, to you, what are then the biggest differences between those two albums? Um, I would say everything. Like, um, I mean, with Nightfall, we had the feeling for the first time that people can actually hear um, our sound and how we actually sound like. Um, and I, I mean, we really took our time to sit down and um, really work the songs out. And we also worked with producers for the first time, which we didn't do um, with enough. So, um, yeah, I'd say we really, really just, I, just I'm, I would say it's the first time you can really hear how such a sale sounds by the end of the day. What kind of uh, ideas did you have when you started working on Nightfall? Actually, I have to say that, um, you know, there are songs on the record which Andre, our guitarist, and I wrote together. And then there are songs um, Andre w wrote himself instrumentally. And then there are songs that I wrote completely myself. And and I feel like you can really tell because um, there's a huge diversity um, on the record. The sound, uh, the songs sound pretty different. But when it comes to the lyrics, they all fit together. So... Like when I wrote, when I started writing for Nightfall, um, I was going through a tough time and I just basically just wrote down what I was going through and um, just try to express my feelings through music. And um, that's why I believe it came out to be such a dark um, themed and, and very, very, very personal um, album. And how was the recording process, you know, with the pandemic? <laughs> yeah, we were pretty lucky, actually, because we got in studio in 2020, right before the first lockdown took place here in Germany. Um, so I, I would say the record wasn't really affected um, by COVID when it comes to recording it, but it definitely was affected by the fact when it, when it comes to releasing it, because, you know, the record was done by... I believe it was August um, 2020, and since that, we're sitting with the record, so it's been almost one and a half years, and that was very, very tough, I can tell you that, to uh, to hold that back and, and to not release it. Um, but you know what? It, it all made sense because we weren't able to tour, and um, now there's tours planned, and there's a lot of shows uh, planned. Um, And yeah, we, we really need that because we're still a small band and we need to promote the record on, on the road. And um, yeah, it, it made sense, but it was uh, very, very tough to to hold it back. How has the like experience been now that the album is out releasing new music uh, at this time? Because, well, like uh, according to one plan, you were supposed to be in Berlin in a couple of days and... Uh... <laughs> um. I mean, we, we we tried really to be um, transparent and very active on social media, which I which is a very tough thing for me personally. Um, I took a long break from social media um, while I was writing Nightfall because, um, you know, it affected me in a very unhealthy kind of way. And I was like, I need a break from all this. But um, since the record is done, I want to go out and I want to promote it. And um, the feedback we got so far is just 
seriously insane. We we had zero expectations um, when we were releasing it. Um, we were like, oh, let's just throw it out there and see how people react to it. But um, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm still answering messages. It, it, it's insane. I, I really wasn't expecting that. And um, it's just so beautiful to see how music connects people. And um, yeah, it's been a great great release and got awesome responses but it would be so cool to actually meet the people uh, on the road and, and to play it live um yeah that's really like it's a little hard to, to not be able to, to go out there but um responses were insane and we had a crazy couple of weeks <laughs> you mentioned the new tour date so what are kind of the next concrete plans you have um, yeah, so there's a tour um, going on in May um, with we're, we'll be supporting NSOK, <clears throat> which is dope because I really like these guys. And also Christoph Rajari from NSOK was one of our producers. Um, so we're really looking forward to that. And um, yeah, there's a lot of other plans to, to tour as much as we can. I cannot um, give it away now, um, right now, but um you know, as soon as COVID will fuck off, we can play and, and go, go on the road and play as many shows in as many countries as possible. How has it been for a fresh band, you know, trying to plan things ahead during this time? Um, crazy. It's, it's, uh, it's like, you know, I was like the like the tour with NSO okay got postponed for about four times or something like that I I don't even remember and so what I did was I didn't even uh take a look at the um current dates for May because I was like oh, I don't want to be disappointed again I'm just gonna sit and wait and ask our managers one week before the the tour takes place where we're playing um yeah, but we're, you know what, we're really positive because um, I believe that it, the whole world came to a point where we cannot go on like this any longer. Um, people got vaccinated for about 5,000 times, so we have to get started at some point and we cannot continue like this forever. So I, I'm very, very positive that this year we'll be able to, to jump on tour. Um, so, yeah, I really hope so. Going back to music, uh, as you mentioned that the lyrics for this album are very personal, uh, would you like to uh, share the story of one or two songs from Nightfall? Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I'd, I'd start with um, with Deadline, because Deadline is a song I had on my computer for about four years or something like that. I, I wrote it, and then um, I was like, that song doesn't really fit for set your sales. I'm just going to keep it for myself. Um, but since, you know, I just sat down with all the instrumentals and then I wrote the lyrics and I figured that pretty much 90% of the songs are about my struggle with depression. And that line is a song that hits really hard when you're dealing with depression. And it's a very soft song, I'd say, but, um, it's very honest. In it, it did fit in the context of, of the record, so I thought this is like I have to, to put it on there. Um, it's you know, I, I would say like Nightfall also is I'd say Nightfall um, represents the a, a different perspective of depression because it actually says that you are willing to dive into the darkness and um, that you somehow feel comfortable with it because you're used to it. It's very hard to explain, but um, there's a line that says, um, they say the nightfall brings fear, but it's the sun I can't stand, which is pretty much also, which also could mean that it's easier to stick with your with your demons and, and to just, you know, sink into it rather than fighting it and like trying to find a way out of it. So I, I had, had to face that a couple of times in the past when I was like, I don't want to get out of here because I don't know, for some reason I feel so weirdly comfortable with being in this rabbit hole and like 
you know, being covered in this darkness because I'm so used to it. I'm dealing with depression since I'm 13 and I'm 30 now. So that's like more than half of my my life. And so I know how I work when I'm in that. And I know how, um, you know, how to, to treat myself. Um, and somehow I feel, I don't know, like pulled to it and I can identify with it and it's a part of me and it's um, sometimes really, really hard to get out of it. And so I rather stay in, in that. So that's, I would say is a different perspective um, that that's shown for, for nightfall and depression. So I'd go with deadline and, and nightfall. Thank you. Uh, familiar feelings and very important topic, of course. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And, um, you know what, when, when I wrote these lyrics, I had no clue that one or like even for deadline five years later, I would sign a worldwide record deal with Napalm, right? It was like, I didn't think of it when I was writing these songs. So I believe that that's one of the reasons why they, why I was able to open up because it was like pretty much writing it for myself. Um, but it's honest and it's, um, it's a part of my history. And I thought that it is very important to, just stick with it and, and put it on the record and um yeah that's what it is 